In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to attach a handle for a teapot. So the first step is to roll out a small coil. This is going to be the coil for the handle and just like we've done for a vase or any other ceramic project, you're going to want to make an even coil. Now there was like a little mark um, on it so you can just take your finger once in a while and smooth out any areas that you think um, are folded or they don't look the best. So. Here it is, just roll out a simple coil, try to get it as even as possible. Now step two, go ahead and take the palm of your hand and flatten it out. Now you have a nice little um, coil that's flat and even. Once you have this coil, you're gonna go ahead, I was just looking at some pictures of different shapes of handles. Go ahead and just shape it to your desired shape. Now, you wanna make sure to not attach it the same day. I want you to wait the next day or at least until it's leather hard. So now that my handle is leather hard, I'm going to step four, draw a guiding line. And what you wanna do is you wanna look at your spout and take a needle tool and lightly draw a line to make sure that it'll be lined up uh, right across from the spout and then it'll be nice and even. So once you have that line to guide us, then we are going to step five, which is to trim the handle to the proper size, uh, to the right proportion based on your teapot. You'll see here, um, I'm cutting it a little bit at a time. So I cut it, I still feel like it's a little bit thicker, too long, so I'm gonna trim it up just a bit more um, so that it fits a little bit better. So then once you have it at the right size, you need to trim the handle to fit flush. So you see here, when you put it right next to the handle or next to the body of the teapot, you'll notice that there'll be a gap on the top. So since that is there, we need to cut it at an angle so that it'll fit, uh, fit flush or right up against it so that gap doesn't exist. So go ahead, I'm taking a X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut that angle. So now that when I put it up next to it, you can see that that gap disappeared. And you're gonna wanna do that on both sides, the top and the bottom, to make sure that it fits flush. Okay, so now that I have it cut so that it fits right up against the teapot, I'm gonna need to actually round out or make the handle concave. So you see the teapot body goes around. So I need to take a needle tool or an X-Acto knife and cut it so it's a really small, shallow U. So a little bit more in the middle and less at the top. So it really forms into that shape of the teapot body. Okay, so there we go. Now it's fitting just right and it's nice and flush and snug to the teapot body. So now step seven, go ahead and align the handle, making sure that it's completely straight in relation to the spout and take your needle tool and trace around where you're going to attach it. This will um, make sure that we don't lose our place and we can go ahead and move to the next step. So now that we know where we're gonna put the handle, we can go ahead and score and slip. And you are going to score and slip just like how we do with every single project. Use that needle tool, just make a lot of scratches, add water, scratch again, because you wanna get that paste or slip created. Also remember that when you attach the handle, you're gonna wanna put it on and then give it a little wiggle to really make sure that it's attached. Once you've done that, you can take your finger, go around um, those edges of the handle to smooth it out. And to even get it extra smooth, we're gonna go ahead and take a paintbrush 
and go over it as well to make it um, looking really nice. And that is going to be step nine. Smooth out the handle with a damp brush. All right, so here we have it. Our teapot now has a spout and a handle. Next is cutting the lid. 